Welcome, hi. We're gonna spend the last day at the sawmill. I'm going to get rid of this lodgepole pine chunk that I've got on here. And um, I wish I would have put a different piece of it on because this one is just such an odd shape and I'm not gonna get a whole bunch of great stuff out of it. I think I'm gonna cut a big slab off the top there. And I'm just, I'm more or less gonna mill it to get rid of it. Um, if I get a little bit more boards out of that for the walls, that's great. I'm also gonna mill this other little piece of birch that we have, that I have here. And I'm gonna see if I can mill some cedar for the siding and play around a little bit. I'm just gonna mill until it starts to snow, which it says it's gonna snow later. Yeah, still says it's gonna to snow today, 40% chance, but snow every day. So, you know, I uh, have to prepare that this is my last day because it also gets really cold. And anyway, let's get to it. I need to change my blade and I need to hurry. It would be kind of something cool if I mill it thick enough because this... hole is that deep so that's about an inch and a half so if I do this a good two inches I should be able to get a slab out of this without that being a hole and I don't know that might be something cool for something or someone so that's what I'll do I think Clyde Clyde is also trying to get in his last few days before the snow. His clown days. Also done wearing that helmet. It's giving me a headache. Ooh. Ooh. I just missed that. Let's look at that. I had checked the first one I went by and I uh, was like, oh yeah, I got tons of room. This one, just enough. I never even saw that one. <laughs> I've never actually hit one of those before. So there's always a first for everything, but it hasn't happened to me yet. Okay, I'm gonna have to go up and get the bobcat. And to load that birch. There is my pine hull, so two, four, six, eight, nine boards potentially for the wall, the walls, and two slabs. And I was gonna sell one of the slabs because I just, I kind of just have so much slab wood kicking around that I was like, oh, I think I'll just post it for sale, but I don't even know if anyone would want it. I don't even know. I'll find some use for it. But one of them I think for sure 
the nicer one I will use as a countertop in the cabin. So, so I have Mr. Birch on now and I've been picking at the bark, like my fetish of peeling the bark off the tree, which this is like really satisfying to do. And it's also purposeful because it's a good fire starter. So I've been peeling away at that. Okay, so here is all of the birch that I've got. And at first I thought it was all really clear. But I see there is uh, these bits of staining in here, which I don't know if that's a bad thing. It's kind of adds character. But I'm gonna go take the dogs for a walk and then I'll put some cedar on. See you in a bit. And I'm crazy for love and you. So that's one log down. Now I either do have to get rid of this or I have to carry a log over. So I think I'm going to try and just carry a log over so I don't have to make a trip up and back. I love this stuff. I love this cedar. So cool. And I still don't know how I'm going to install the siding in which way. So. I'm going to try it the way I'd wanted to try it on the shed, which was vertically. So a vertical reverse board and batten. But I felt like on the shed, the structure was just too small. And I had those vertical posts throughout. So I thought the horizontal would complement it more, but I don't have any vertical posts visible on the exterior. So I really want to try and make the vertical reverse board and batten work. I think it would look really cool. And I have a few other ideas to do as well. But let's get another log on. I think it would look best too if the planks weren't super wide. So the smaller in diameter trees, I'm looking for a little bit more. Like this one is a bit big. special idea in mind for something. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try it out.
It's a secret. I can't tell you yet. I think it might work though. Should probably do one more. There, I just had that little one on. I don't even know if I showed it to you. Anyway, it did have a crack in it, so I lined it up so that it would it would go along with a cut, but it was gonna be within a board, so I actually had flipped this around one more time so that the crack would end up in my waste board. And the only thing is this last cut went it went down as far as it could so it's not quite five eighths of an inch it's probably a half inch thick board but that was kind of the only way i could avoid that yeah so i got that and here is my loot for the day good morning the ground is officially frozen so yeah Today is, today is officially feeling like our last day. I feel like I've been saying that a lot, but here is the wood I milled yesterday. I brought it up. I need to take the bobcat and grab the, those um, last like three logs that are over there in the driveway. I've been picking away at cleaning up this driveway before the snow comes. So yeah, like I said, mill a little bit more stuff just to have on hand in the event I need some more over the winter and then clean the mill up, get it ready for the winter, and say goodbye. Oh, one other thing I wanted to show you too. I officially have my windows now. So I got, here's one. This one is brand new and it is like 44 inches by 33 or something like that. That's going to go on the east facing wall, so the sunrise wall. I got another one for the west wall and I just haven't picked it up yet, but it's like 36 inches by 36 inches. It does open and it has a screen. It's a wood case window, so it's not vinyl. I really didn't want to have this one ugly vinyl window in the cabin, the window that I have from our other cabin. So it just didn't, yeah, it just didn't feel like the right thing to use. So I purchased a couple of windows, reasonably priced. So I've got those and working on my roofing material, working on my um, tin. I've been picking away in the evenings at the, the other side material. Like, so I've been painting it the paint that the roofers left and it is different. It's definitely darker. It's more on the black side than the gray side compared to the original standing scene color. So it's definitely noticeable them side to side. So I'm really glad I've decided to do each side of the roof a different material. That said, I have not painted the one panel of standing seam that I need to match this stuff. And then I was thinking too, I probably should paint half the ridge cap, but I haven't done that yet and that's already at the location. So whether I get to that or not, got these here. So these are the two I will tackle. And again, trying to pay attention to the cracks in them. This one has like really big divots here. I've decided that for that one that has like those big divots in it and I don't really think I can get a whole lot of material out of that. It would just, I think it would be really awkward. I'm gonna just scab each side because I'm gonna use that for something. Slab each side, I guess. Take, take the side off of each four sides or, or three sides I think I could probably get. And then I'm going to mill up, I'm going to make a cant out of it, like a square, and then mill up a bunch of small boards for the doghouse. I never actually finished some of the inside of the doghouse, so I'm going to mill just, I don't know, 
three-eighths inch thick or half inch thick or something cedar uh, and set those aside for another time to finish in the doghouse. I really wonder what this would look like sanded down really well or plain down and the finish on it. It's hard to see but it's quite pretty. Anyway, nice little feature there. This will go perfect in my little dog house. got here now left that one now if I knew I was doing horizontal lap siding in this exact same way I did the shed then this would be perfect but I'm not sure how I'm doing it I really want to try the vertical so if I'm doing vertical I just feel like that's way too wide I don't know overwhelmingly too big this one is a bit big too. I also am kind of getting done with milling. I'm really cold. It's cold. But I also know that if I don't do any more, I'm not going to have an opportunity to mill again. Oh, I sort of just feel like I should take up this opportunity to do it. So I might go through the forest again and try and find something a little bit smaller in diameter. Um, and then throw that on. No, it's rotten. Stay away from the ones that are super green and mossy. So I am, I avoided this one before because it's got quite a curve on it, but I'm going to take it anyway. I've already marked it at eight feet. machine. Last one. And I'm going to... I took... I used the curve on the other one because that was the way that the log was in the best condition and then the, the rest of it I didn't use half or maybe a third of it I guess but this one I'm not gonna have the curve so that it's in the board like widthwise so therefore this is how I have to cut it like that so I'll end up wasting but yeah I just don't know how it would look to have so many crooked boards you know what I mean they would be going like banana shaped on the side if I do it vertically so I'll have a bit of both
it inch and three quarters. I don't know, open kitchen shelving. Bookshelf. The possibilities are endless. So it's, it's cold. We just got a little, I'm gonna burn that little burn pile there. So I'm gonna to contribute to it with some of this crap around here and close things up for the year. It gets really cold next week. We have snow and cold and yeah, I'm done. So. Okay, we just got here um, and it's quite cold and it's windy and we're going to unload all of this lumber down the stairs and we have to fix the sky mule today. So um, hopefully that's going to happen. Steve has to go down to the cabin though and get the hammer drill, the battery like, hilti drill to hammer into the rock wall again, to drill into the rock wall again I should say. I asked the pack rat if they could help. He said his, un his uncle could. So oh. They're gonna help. Him and his uncle? Oh, wow. Fabulous. Nice enough. Yeah, really nice of them. Okay, here's the other window I got. I just picked it up on my way. Okay, we have everything down and Steve set up partially what or what he can do for now anyway for the Sky Mule. What, what do you have to do? Get the... the Sky Mule phase two. <laughs> <laughs> Are the rats helping you? Yeah, we're putting more brakes into the system so it doesn't uh, soar down the wire. Yeah. So we'll just see. Your ear is bleeding. Yeah, I know. I was like that the other night. You're gonna put the baby gloves on you at night. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, uh, I'll go get the rock drill and come back up. All the we got birch, pine, cedar. You want me to walk up? Cedar. 
Okay, so Steve just left. He took a couple of the dogs. He has to go down to the cabin and, like I said, get the uh, rock drill. <clears throat> so, and then he's going to hike back up. So I decided to stay and I'm going to go down and just set myself up with a little bit... I don't... I'm running out of space to store all my lumber. I think I'm just going to quickly go down and build a little something underneath the cabin so that I can stack some boards under there uh, just for the short term like for the next few months because I have so much stuff and I have already so much stuff stacked on the deck and I'm, I'm eventually going to need to like get into the cabin space I've got boards all stacked in there so I'm going to take the opportunity to do that while he goes down and like feeds the dogs and gets a fire going in the cabin and yeah it's three o'clock, so we don't have a whole lot of extra time today to do much, but it's supposed to snow tomorrow, so yeah, it's cold. There's a little like system happening out there right now. I sort of forgot. I've got that mess under there of cardboard. Yeah, so this doesn't look that inviting to move that somewhere else. Anyway, I think what I'm going to do is build something right here quickly, build something, just set something up. And this is where I'm going to stack boards and tarp is conveniently there to cover things with. Okay, <laughs> so with some scraps laying around, I have myself something I can start to stack some lumber on. It's eight feet long. And I didn't cut anything, I just used whatever was laying around to make it work. Climbing rope. Well, you're bolt. putting that quite a bit lower. I guess you have to. Yeah, I'm putting these things in. Right. There's a little deck for the rat metal. Yeah. Yeah. Look. the next one. So this is this breaking thing that belaying system that Steve thought of. One might be enough though, hey? Yeah, well that's why I got two. I, I want to build two. So right here. I can put do it on. I can do it tomorrow I guess. Yeah. You know. It's five o'clock. Yeah, okay. This is a little deck for the rats. Rats. To get into their home, a little patio with a view. Yeah. There's their home. <laughs> okay, are you sure you want to hike down? Yeah. You don't oh, want to ride? The other break. happen. Okay. That's what Yeah, I have no idea, so sure, whatever. Whatever you say.
So this is really actually quite steep <laughs> and like I'm in Forlo and it's uh, a bit dicey. I slid coming down the first part that's really steep and it's a bank, like a drop off, so I was pretty sketched out. I have Norton, Lenny. <laughs> We're just uh, inching our way down here. Was not expecting this snowstorm at this particular moment. I have a few more really steep sections. <sighs> I hope I can get down. be the last time we can drive. <laughs> you just lean back, it's like in a movie theater. You're just sitting back in the chair, crawling your way up. <laughs> I'm stuck. With the last leg here, it's like super steep and I'm stuck. So, <laughs> Steve is gonna have to pull me out. And there's like a cliff right here. <gasps> oh, shit. I need to get my proper winter tires on and I would get chains if I were to ever come out here again. I should have chains anyway. So one break in. Yeah, I'll just see how it is. One break is in. I know that's a thing. It's hard to reach up there. Cold. Do you want to lift me and I'll put it on? Like get this thing down a bit. Yeah. Pull that pole up, my little. Oh, 
up the sky mule is no <laughs> that's not good it's not even on now the rope has pulled the sky mule off there's too much friction okay we did a bunch of stuff it didn't work <laughs> so hard to film it um it's not quite set up properly, but we're just trying to get the stuff down. Yeah, this is real easy. The brake thing is working, but we had to change out that pulley. pulley. It was too, where are we? Too small. It, it was too small, so it's creating too much friction and it knocked the sky mule off the, off the wire. Yeah, it's okay. So we aborted the whole rear stabilization thing just because we had to put the bigger pulley up there. And yeah, it's cold and snowing and we're just trying to get the stuff down. So you might as well head down. Here's that pile. Sky Mule is on its way back up. So I'm going to take these over to my little lumber pad thing I built yesterday. And... Just keep keep doing this. Load number two coming down. When things land here, I have to carry them down this path. Right along here and along there to over there. And there's where the cabin is. So things land about here, for reference. Let's go back up. Third load here. All right, that is, that is all of the lumber. The last thing is the countertop. I guess there's a big slab of the lodgepole pine that I'm going to use for the counter. There's that. And there's the two windows. So I think we'll do the windows while we're here. Hopefully. I mean, I can do it another day, but it'd be nice with two people to do that. But I am so glad I built that little thing yesterday in like whatever, like half an hour or something, maybe 40 minutes. Because otherwise I would be stacking all of this wood on like the ground. And as you can see, like nothing is flat here. Everything is either up or down. So very grateful that I have that to put the wood on and I will cover it with that tarp. Poor puppies. They're all in the trucks with their sweaters on. I think it's zero degrees. It's maybe minus one Celsius. Okay, I guess he brought down more. This is stuff I had sitting out there from before up there. It's not for, well, I, yeah. I actually don't know what it's for. There's my countertop. The windows are on their way. I still have that one more window at home for the gable end where the stained glass is gonna go in. I still have that one to bring, but that's smaller. I still have to bring the tin down and the foam, all the foam insulation. So yeah, this is huge. <laughs> this is a big day, getting all this down. Woohoo! Oh my gosh, that's so awesome. Got it! Oh my goodness. All right. <laughs> Carried all this stuff down by myself. Put those windows up there. It's done. Like, I hope this is, this thing is strong enough. Anyway, now I'm not sure if the windows need to have something on. Like I'm going to put a tarp on this quickly right now. 
probably more than anything that's just going to make me feel like it's doing something. I'm just talking about distributing the weight of the snow on top of the windows, but anyway. You guys, there it is, all bundled up and um, waiting to be installed. So I think Steve is going to bring down the tin and then um, we're going to head out. So I think in total we've been here, I don't know, this probably took us, by the time we got here, three, four hours, something like that. So. A good day's work. Now we got about a two hour drive home today. So anyway, it's getting there. Getting all this down today was a huge accomplishment and I'm so grateful that Steve was here to help me because yeah, it just would be probably one to two days if I was to do it by myself. So. Oh, Clyde's making muffins. in the cooler. Okay. I'll give that to you. Okay. Yeah, you could cross country ski here now. I know, I could ski out. How's your little coat, Lenny? <laughs> <laughs> 